Ed Reed gives an emotional speech as he announces to his players that he's leaving Bethune-Cookman football program. Good morning. Temporary. Temporary. You never know the day nor the hour. None of us know when that time will come. You understand? We've been around here trying to change things, and we have, and this has changed quickly. My vision for change probably moving too fast for a lot of people. I'm not withdrawing my name as they saying. They don't want me here. They do not want me here because I tell the truth. They have never had this many people here in the recruiting time and coach, I've been saying that. We've been here at three o'clock in the morning sometimes I even slept here one night to make sure I was comfortable, and I was. My guy. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It's hurt. It's hurt because I know people don't care about these kids like I do. And they should be the ones leaving, not me, because I don't want to. Why? Because Jeremy Greaves, who father I looked in the eye, and y'all mothers and fathers who I talked to last night, even though I knew they didn't want me. I took $2,400 out of my pocket and still gave it to the host, to host these young men. Shit, at this point, I'd do it for free, because I have been for the last three weeks. That man have too. He drove from New Orleans, because he believed in me and my bitch. And that man right there who flew from California less than two hours and got off the plane and he was here to see the rant. He got off the plane and what we started doing, young man? <laughs> y'all yeah, curse. And y'all didn't heard curse words before. And they got parents in here. And no, I don't want to leave. And like I told y'all, I want all these recruits. But they got some corrupt people in this world, some evil people that don't care about kids like I do. So I want y'all to hear the truth from me. I ain't withdrawing my name. I got the receipts. They got all kinds of stuff going on around here. Hoarding these buildings with nothing but trash in them. You understand me? And Dion was right. And I know I'm right. And they got some people in here who be snitching to their ass. And I work with much Judas as Jesus walked with him. And I ain't have a problem with it. Because even Jesus prevailed. Sir. And what God got for you, no man can take. Sir. I told these young men. I don't care who we play, because I don't. My nephew would transfer here. My nephew right there. They want me to leave my nephew here. Am I lying, nephew? He been getting the bad break at Southern. Some evil people, man that don't care about your kids. But I was here, because I wanted them all, like I told y'all last night, and I still do. And if somebody gave me a job, they all could come. Probably won't happen. But I'll tell y'all this, my brother 11 years ago around this time, and we buried him. And I was in the NFL in the cold tub, icy when I found out. And I didn't go home. I played the game on Sunday because that's what he would want me to do. Just like I want y'all to keep going, regardless of what happens today. Young men, that's what I've been telling y'all. Right? 
sir. Is that right? Yes, sir. Pick up trash tomorrow because that's what we would do, right? Yes, sir. We was going to do it anyway, right? Yes, sir. Jaden, where you at? What you say, Jaden, last Sunday? I'm not withdrawing my name as Reggie Theus ass want me to do. He the one, and whoever else with him. You can't be an AD and a head coach. It's impossible. I worked at the University of Miami for three years and I saw it. Talk to me. And I know. Yeah, we we in there live right you now. You understand? Hang up the phone, roll. We in there live right roll. now. Roll! Yeah, it's prime. He okay, dog. Yeah. Y'all understand what I'm saying? It's bigger than football. Protection. Teaching these young men about life. They ain't seen the play yet. We don't even have a practice field. Less than a week we've cleared this land, y'all see over here. Less than a week. Because a man came from Baltimore who saw me come into his neighborhood when I was a rookie, talked to his neighborhood, his mom struck out on his daddy not in his life, and I talked to them and he said, I'm here for you. What do you need? I don't want to hear about all the bull. And I talked to him and I took him over there and he met him. He walked out there, my new best friend. He said, man, you don't even know me. His whole demeanor changed when he got back to me. He said, hey, you were right. I said, yeah, we cut that little piece of grass and them snake shows. And I ain't talking about the rattlers. Bigger than football, mom and dad. We still have kids showing up today for the recruit weekend. We got kids showing up tomorrow. They told me to cancel it and y'all was getting off the plane. Where they do that at? I'm not withdrawing my name. Sis, read the quote. Read the email, sis. Read the email, sis. But the one Cookman University has announced that Ed Reed has withdrawn his name from consideration to become the next head football coach at the university. That was just one of the drafts, not the... It's not happening. I ain't withdrawing my name. Y'all saw me last night. Did I sound like I was leaving? Sure. Did I sound like this was a problem? Like y'all, like I was getting fired or something? Like y'all got me in here lying to these people, man. And I wasn't lying, I was just telling y'all what was real. I got a 14 year old son who I had to call this morning. He in Atlanta. He had a game, a banquet, I just missed it. I'm sacrificing my own money for these young men. Just last night to have a good time. And I'm still looking after him. Dante, where you at? Dante Drew, where you at? You lost your wallet, huh? Guess who got it? Your coach. I found him. Ain't that something? Get a young man his wallet and his money and everything in it. Glad you're using protection, too. <laughs> Breathe. I just sat, I just sat, stood, grew up in the eye of the hurricane for a long time. If you know anything about a hurricane, right in the eye is calm. Even in this moment, I'm good. But I hurt for these young men. That's what I hurt for. That's what the tears are for. Because I know what we've been working on. So much more than football. I ain't camped for 20 years. I've been doing this, working with kids. CT done it together, and his kid is being recruited now.
I had to tell y'all all together. They don't want me here. It's not me. And that's just the truth. It's not me. I would not do that. How would I withdraw my name when I sat with Jordan Johnson? Jeremy Greaves' dad and parents looked him in the eye just as I did with y'all last night. Why would I do that? Y'all heard the lie. They lying. They ain't right. They not right. Say me, it ain't right. I spoke the truth. Just because you hear some curse words? Just because you hear curse words? When the Klan came in 1904 and stood right outside and Dr. McClain stood just like this by herself. Come with it. And you worrying about curse words? When they got people who are out here trying to kill these young men? No, it ain't me. I knew I wasn't wrong. I ain't care what nobody said. Still don't. I had the best of friends call me, bro. You can't do that. Man, get off my phone. You with them. You playing the game. I don't play no game. I ain't got no time to play no games and politics. I never did. They didn't do their research. They thought they was getting like a better words a dumb job. I'm not. That's who y'all had raising y'all kid here. A good man. Not perfect. We all make mistakes. And I apologize for mine. And I told them that they have to be professional. It's a teaching moment that we use it at, right, Jaden? Yeah. I had individual meetings with these young men. And we started by playing chess. Not checkers. But I said, all of y'all got one move. They gotta learn to work together. It's chess, young man. They not even playing checkers. They don't care. They don't care. What's up, big bro? Hey, I love you, man. You know that, right? Yep. We talked about this. We talked about this. We know the structure. We know the order. We know how it was going to play out. And you've been there fighting. I know what you're feeling. I know what you're going through. You got to understand, Ed, God has a time and a place for you, my brother. And I know your heart. I know everything that's going on inside of you. You know, I know you like a book. And I know how you feel about them kids. And I know you do not want to leave those kids. So I'm praying for you right now, man, because this is going to be the toughest thing you ever had to do in your life. Sometimes, Ed, you got to walk away, my brother. I know it's tough. I know you don't want to hear it. But sometimes in life, we got to walk away. You already know, big bro. I'm pretty you, didn't let, you didn't let nobody down, Ed. You didn't let them kids down. You did what you was called to do, and you tried your best. Thank you, big brother. I love you, man. I'm here. I will be on the next flight if you need me. You know that. Nah, you good. You handle your okay. business. You know okay. that. I'll give you a call. Please. Hey, you know what God wants from you, man, and be that. Don't let them provoke you, my brother. I, I love you, you, man. Bro. All right. It's Coach Prime, everybody. I really do appreciate y'all time, taking the time to come hear me out.
Thanks for tuning in to Nye Mag TV.